Praise the Lord, saints. I pray this finds you well. Uh, I wanted to share a testimony with you to help someone that might, you know, someone who might need to understand the power of God, how he loves children. He loves his people and he's no respecter of persons. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I shall give you rest. Such a loving father. But it's, this is like an example that you can come to him as you are. And God is here for you as a reminder. So we had this delivery order and I placed the order for my mom. You know, I'm checking in on her. And when we set up the order, I said, oh, mommy, look, it says, you know, it's going to be late, like 11 p.m. And she said, okay, that's fine, no problem. But then all of a sudden, the order, it became unavailable, where it said, there are no drivers available. And I thought, oh, that's weird, okay. So we changed stores. And when we changed stores, by the time we put the items in the shopping cart online, it said that store was unavailable too. And I thought, oh, okay. And I could feel like something telling me, go back. And when I checked with the original store, lo and behold, a window opened up. It was a little bit later and said like 1130 or what have you. And I thought, mommy, look, you know, this window opened up. Praise God. Look at God, look at God's favor, how he made the way. So we prepped the order and we get ready to place the order. And all of a sudden I realized, oh my goodness, we're seeing a miracle. I don't know what this is, but we're seeing a miracle. The time for the delivery, the estimated arrival time was 11, 11 p.m. 1111, that's God. Those, those are his numbers. And, you know, we just, you know, we smiled and just praise God that we had the, the delivery in. So we're waiting for the order and it's getting later and later. And my mom asked a few times, well, what's happened with the order? What are they saying now? And I said, well, right now it says like 11.30 to 11.51. It's, it's been, you know, pushed back quite a bit. And we're just, you know, waiting patiently, not saying anything, just waiting. You know how you wait on the Lord? You trust him. You've got the confirmation. You know that the blessing's coming, but you've got to still wait. Delayed is not denied, right? So we're waiting. And she sends an email. This is the girl who's doing the delivery. She sends an email and apologizes. She says, I'm so sorry. I had this huge order that was before you. And now I'm able to get to yours. And it made me think about the angel that was, you know, remember when, when Daniel prayed and he said, you know, he had that prayer request and the angel said, I know you prayed. I heard you the first time that you prayed, the first day that you prayed, but I was delayed. And because he was like fighting with the, with the devil and so forth, it was like 21 days. Amazing testimony, right? So when the girl said she was going to be heading towards us, but she had this big order, I know big orders take time. Sometimes people want to go through all of the bags and I'm thinking, okay, no problem. But I could hear like the Holy Spirit say very specifically to tell her in the comments to tell her, um, our order is not a problem. Take the time that you need in so many words. So I typed that in and I put down, you know, be safe. And so we waited. So all of a sudden there was like this pop where I looked down at the phone because it was, it kept saying heading to you soon that she was still with the other order heading to you soon. She was still, you know, making the other delivery. All of a sudden there was this pop on the screen and it showed the girl right in front of my mom's building. I thought, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait. I said, mommy, am I seeing this? Is this, let me just text this girl to see if this is accurate. So I, I sent her a message and because sometimes the GPS is incorrect and it will tell you that the person is further away or closer when they're not. But she said, and I saved the text, I saved the, um, the screenshot where she wrote back. She said, I don't know how this happened, but the other order is approximately 700 feet away from you. Now, mind you, the delivery was, this is only God, all glory to God. So the delivery was for 11.51 p.m., right? 
seven hundred feet away. Seven is God. Seven is um. Right, I'm sorry. Let me back up. Seven is completion. The seven is also President Trump. If you have a chance, look at the Charisma News article in the seven seven sevens. He was seventy years old, seventy months, and so forth. And when he became president, all of those things that are biblical, like Jonathan, Rabbi Jonathan says. So the girl arrives, and we go. My mom says, "I'll go with you to get the order." We go out, and she's so. This young lady was so tiny. She looked like a little Hollywood actress, but the type where you could see like the fresh face. You know, she's dressed up like for this audition. Um, but without the ego, this, this child, she was so innocent. She was so young and she was so nervous about the order. Almost like she had just started. Like she was so nervous. She had everything in these insulated bags and she was the handling the bag. She wanted to make sure that we had everything very kind. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, tell her, like in so many words, that God is with her and he's going to deliver her. You know, out of every circumstance, he's going to deliver her. So I said that and she looked at me. <laughs> she looked at me and she just started crying. She just started, you know, crying profusely. And she just broke down. And I hugged her and, I mean, she was sobbing, weeping and sobbing. And then she explained that she had, you know, tattoos. I could, I knew she wasn't a Christian because she didn't say anything like, you know, related to God and to Jesus. And she, she kept saying, oh, you all have such good energy. You have such good energy. But then I heard the Holy Spirit say and let her know the devil cannot touch her. He got emotional. So I shared that also. And she was just so, it was like her spirit, her entire spirit shifted right in front of us. Because she said, you don't know what I've been going through. She said, this has been the hardest thing, but I'm so thankful. She said, to me, she said, it's the kindness of strangers. And I said, no, this is God. This is, that's Father God. I couldn't tell her about the 1111 or the 7, but she saw, you know, that she was 700 feet away. So, you know, we wrapped it up really briefly. And when I got back, I looked up the times because that's 1151, right? Psalm 51, 11 states, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Isaiah 51, 11 states, Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness, and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. The word of the Lord is blessed. Thanks be unto God. I just want to share that reminder with you that God is faithful. Whatever it is that you look like, that, I'm sorry, whatever it is that it looks like on your journey or that you're going through, know that God has you and he will always make the way. He loves his kids. I don't care what you're facing. There is no mountain or, or obstacle too big that God can't step in and deliver you. Just like he told that girl, I'm going to deliver you out of that. And like he said, the devil cannot touch you. It's a reminder for me and you, for you, for our nation, for our president, for all those who are suffering, who are waiting on God, for those that are coming to God. Maybe, and hear me clearly, there are some that might have been serving other gods, serving witchcraft, involved in things that they didn't, you know, they, that, that looked harmless. But now they realize, oh, wait a minute, I got caught up and I can't get out of this thing and I'm stuck in this trap. No, you are not. You call on Jesus. You say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I repent. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Deliver me. Help me. Give me eternal life through you. And I will not walk away again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Keep singing to God. Do not walk away. God will deliver you. Hold on to him and be confident in God. Great is his faithfulness. Watch as he restores us and restores our nation. All glory to God. And we praise God for President Trump. Watch and see what God does.
and we rebuke all witchcraft, evil, and demonic attacks, name and blood of Jesus Christ and by God's authority, whoever is listening. You gotta wish that God has his hands on you when you call on him. Trust confidently in him. Whatever it is that you're facing, leave it with him. And give it over to him and say, Lord God, I give this to you because I hold on to your word. I know you are delivering me. And then celebrate. And feel that laughter, that joy in your heart. Because what is the scripture? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Because God has us and he is delivering us out of the hands of our enemies. We can pray that also. Psalm 31, 8 and 15. Lord God, deliver me out of the hands of the enemy. Out of the, um, Lord God, remove me from the enemy's hands. Name and blood of Jesus Christ. By God's authority we pray. Amen. Don't walk away. Watch and see what God does. He has you. And we rebuke all witchcraft, evil, and demonic. We bind it away from God's people. Um, we say, stand at the attention of Jesus Christ right now. You cannot speak. You cannot retaliate. You cannot transfer powers. We cast you. We bind you and cast you into eternal darkness. We cast the witches and demons into God's tornado. You shall obey. And we release warring angels to defend us in battle. We release God's covering his favor and divine authority. Name and blood of Jesus Christ, by God's authority we pray, amen. We sever every witchcraft attack. We cut the head and root off of the wickedness. We rebuke the devourer. We rebuke the destroyer. There shall no evil befall God's people. Watch as God delivers us. He has his hands on you and on us. And he is the God of his promises. Every prayer answered, promise fulfilled.